I still remember my grandfather taking me for a haircut when I was an extremely short person. The cost was 25 cents. Once when I was living in London, England, I was 19 years old and I wandered mistakenly into, I guess it was some kind of beauty parlor or something, right in Soho downtown. And I had this man fuss madly over my hair for at least 90 minutes. There were a lot of peculiarities, including a netting that he slid over my head while he blasted hot air at me. When all was said and done, I paid him a king's ransom, and I kept gawking at myself in shop windows as I walked down the street. My God, I looked like a movie star. My hair was all curled and pomped and shaped and teased and made to appear, to appear altogether superhuman. For many years now, I get my hair cut uh, about every five weeks. You see, it's, it's pretty long right now. I'll do it on Monday at a local barber shop, and I pay as little as possible. These days, I get the seniors' rate, so 13 bucks will usually do the trick. A toonie for the tip, 15 bucks, uh, takes about 15 minutes. A buck a minute is pretty good, I think. Now I have a friend who owns a spa, and he's always trying to be very kind to me, so recently he invited me to have my hair cut with his fabulous new employee, Nikki. This mad exercise took close to two hours and involved moving from the barber chair to the sink, to the sink, to the barber chair, three different times. And at one point, Nikki ran some mad lotion, magic lotion, through every strand of hair in my head. Uh, every strand of, yeah, this burned like crazy. When I told Nicky my head was on fire, he tried some streaks of different lotion, which made my head freeze, which resulted in the last of the three shampoos. Until I got home, of course, and immediately threw myself under the shower for an indecent uh, length of time, running enough water to detoxify small desert communities. Don't get me wrong, the final result was fabulous. People complimented me for several days on what a great haircut I was sporting. Vain as I am, I actually don't like people like barbers, dentists, and surgeons fussing over me. You get that kidney working, seal up that root canal, and let me the hell out of here. I've often said that if I were rich, which is highly unlikely, unless you're going to give me a lotto ticket because I'm not buying them, I would have my hair cut once a week and massage every day before supper. Ha! Ha! Maybe I'm kidding. Maybe if I won the lotto, I'd surprise myself and buy a number of racy foreign uh, convertibles on a Long Island estate. Maybe it was my granddad taking me for those quick, cheap haircuts when I was a kid. I like my hair short, but I want the deed done in less than a flash. If someone can invent Google and apps, how far away can the five-minute haircut be? Pickle. Do my hair, please. But please do not turn it into a personal art project.